What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. This video by the title, I'm building out my fish room finally. Now there's gonna be a couple parts to this. It's not gonna happen in one, but this is the embarrassment of this fish room right now. It's like a tornado went off in this room. Now I'm incredibly embarrassed by this room, but I have an excuse for it. I've been renovating this bathroom. It still needs a mirror, still needs a shower door, but this bathroom's done finally. Floor's done, you know, everything's basically here. But the reason this room is such a mess is because it has all this construction stuff and stuff that used to be in the bathroom in here. And it's it's just a mess in here. But I have something in my car that needs to go in here. So I need to start cleaning it up now. There's no better time like the present to start cleaning up the room now. As you can see, the lights that I hung, they're not really holding up. These guys never hold up, but I got new lights that will, hopefully. This looks fine. There's still a clownfish in there. Hey, get, uh, she's never gonna get out of here. I got a stand for that tank. That tank's gonna go on the stand next to there, next to this desk. That's gonna be my Colorado anemone tank. I'm gonna make this clownfish go in that tank. I think I'm gonna do little rooster wasp fish in a recorded garden on that tank on the stand, but I don't know yet. That's kind of where I'm leaning. So we'll have the anemones in one, rooster wasp fish in the other. Dude, is this, I don't even think that thing's gonna fit where I need it to fit. I'm gonna start clearing some room and we'll see where this goes. Ta-da! Wow, that does not fit on that wall at all. But I bet it'll fit over here. So I'm probably gonna have to move this couch over to here or something. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna figure it out because that's what I do and it'll look awesome. All right, I have made some progress. Let me show you what we've hung up so far. Well, first I've cleaned up most of the floor. This still has to finish the bottom of that wall in there, taking a good amount of stuff out. Like I said, this is gonna be a stand over there, although I gotta probably put this over there. But anyway, Morris Idol Seahorse, that poster has been there. This sick jellyfish, lionfish, hammerhead and a manta ray. Now I have to get new light, or I got new lights. They're gonna go all the way around the top. They're, you know, LED, so it'll make the stuff really glow in here. All right, I have started building the water rock stand for the 20 gallon over there. It's gonna go right here. It might shift over a little bit. I still gotta figure out like this light and table situation, but I've been building these stands all week at the store in preparation for Reefa Palooza. So this is gonna take me probably 20 minutes max. They're super simple to build. It's like if Ikea did it, but only it's for aquarium. Can you stop with that? Hey, thank you. All right, stand is done. Shout out water box. Nice and sturdy. So like I said, this tank is gonna go on that stand, but I'm done for now. I, it is my birthday tonight, or sorry, it was yesterday, but my birthday dinner is tonight. So I'm done with this, gonna clean up a little bit, but I will finish this at a later date. But the video is not over yet. Stick around. So we have made some progress. Everything's kind of glowing. I got a little bit more lights to go around the whole side. That tank still gotta get moved over there. This over there, the desk over here. Look at this stuff glowing. Look how cool this is. So it's multiple layers. You can see it. Let's see. So you can see the different layers that he has. And then each layer is just like a different sort of seeing like a stingray in there. These things are sick. This I got a while ago in Amsterdam, glowing. So all this is made by the same guy. And I'll be honest, I I don't remember who it is, but I'll figure it out. Look how sick this jellyfish looks. The camera doesn't even do it justice. Then we got the angler up there and a lionfish over here. All right. Lights are all the way around. Now let's get a video of it at night so there's no light coming through the windows. Now in preparation for the big tank that is gonna go here, it is going to be a five foot by three foot peninsula. I need to find some of the coral that is in this tank. I have neglected this tank, I will be honest, but there are some very nice expensive mushrooms that are kind of just floating around this tank. For instance, 
my jawbreaker. Now I do have a mushroom box now, so it will go in there. Whatever else I find will go in there. So let me turn the lights on real quick. Now you can see this glass is disgusting. This tank is disgusting. Um, I have just really let this go because there's no automation. There's me traveling. There are just a lot of excuses for why this tank doesn't look good. And it's honestly, part of it is laziness, which is like the worst quality to have in this hobby. Now this used to be a flourish, let's see if I can put it. This used to be a flourishing candy cane colony and now it's just nothing. But let me see if I can find any of these mushrooms. The jawbreaker used to sit, it was sitting there and I should have grabbed it while I saw it. Wow, look at this, it's starting to get up. Tages in this tank, I mean, this thing is kind of falling apart. But let's see what we can find. All right, first we're gonna start taking some of these rocks out. I'll start over here. Cause I'm thinking they're around here somewhere. At least that's what I hope. Anything? Nope, just a bunch of fermented snails. Okay. Bucket, it's gonna be out of the water for a bit, so it's not gonna be that bad. Put that one there, that one's got a torch on it, so leave that one in the tank. And this is the rock that I think we'll have. There's the jawbreaker. See, it's got reds and greens. He's gonna come over here to the mushroom box. Now, I did see a little baby something underneath. See right there, we can put this Oops. Yeah. Baby something. Throw that in there. Where else, let me look. This rock is like all GSP now. Some real bleached out white zombies. Now, if anything's happy, it's these Space Queen Zoas. Oh, nice burst worms underneath of it. But big colony. Oh my God, I'm gonna put that down before I get stung. See if we can find any of those Yumas. Yep, there's a Yuma. Throw that in there. Looks like another Yuma. That in there. Just for safekeeping, I'm gonna take this tile that has one Yuma left, put that in there. Let's see if we lift this rock up, what's underneath? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, now before these Recordias pop off, I'm gonna put these guys in here. Frag of them. Put these guys in there. I'm gonna take these acans, move them down here. What size is this chalice? East, bring up the sand a little bit. Slowly growing back. These are probably my favorite A cans that I have. Can I see in the white light? But these guys are really nice. I will say the A cans in here are the happiest. The acans are probably the most happy thing that's in here. That's why I was okay buying this big colony of acans and that extra frag. Like, look at this colony. Just because acans seem to be the happiest thing in this tank and the only thing that really survives in here right now, that's just because I've been lazy. So we're going to throw these dead pieces out. There's, oh, I forgot. There's a whole rock of these humans over here. All of these. Into, there they go. I know there was some other stuff at one point, but I really don't think I'm gonna find what I want. Um, like that jawbreaker did drop a baby at one point, but I just have no idea. Yeah, this tank needs to get revamped and redone. I'll be honest, I couldn't even tell you the parameters that are in this tank, like at all. I bet the alkalinity is, I don't know, I said that on the last video and I was completely wrong. Yeah, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. So we're just gonna put everything back. We found the mushrooms and that was all I care about was just trying to, really finding that jawbreaker. 
Let's get this rock with these Duncans back in here. Put it like that for now. And some snails fell off. And now that I've gone through that embarrassment of showing you this despicable tank, my buddy Jake, I don't know if I've shown his videos on this channel before, but he's gonna take all my nice stuff, put it in his tank. His tank is absolutely incredible. Put it in there, let him kind of, I don't know, nurse back to health, but at least, you know, hold everything while we set up the big tank. Like I said, there's gonna be a big tank, five foot by three foot peninsula. I'm excited. It's gonna be full apex, full automated. So it makes my life a lot easier. I can monitor everything and not just guess and neglect it and yeah. But let me show you the plan. So the reason I just got all those mushrooms out of there is they're gonna go into the fish room. So super happy how this came out. Now again, that desk is gonna come over here and the rowing machine's gonna go against that wall. That 20 gallon is going on this stand. That tank is just going to be some wasp fish and all my mushrooms, gonna be really low maintenance. Yeah, there's not gonna be much to do that in that tank. I'll just throw one, you know, doser with some offer reef in there, just keep it, you know, nice and stable. But that tank's gonna be super simple. Then again, another super simple tank. This corner tank will be my Colorado anemone. You can see it's got a full sump. So that would just be a Colorado and the clownfish that is in that tank is gonna go into there and I'll find a female. And I don't know what other fish I'll put in there, but you know, nothing too, too extreme. These tanks are both me, you know, they're all gonna be super low maintenance, but it looks, they'll look nice and colorful and bright in here. But that's the plan. So this is my other super depressing tank. Yeah, I had a bacteria bloom in the ATO down there. It was just white milk in there. That a result of me not paying attention to anything, being lazy, my dinner is ready. One sec. So this tank will be coming down next week. I'll film all that. That'll be a separate video. But if you can see through the fuzz and Aptasia, you'll see there are some nice recordias left. Oh, that one's split. Something's going right in here. But yeah, so I also have like a Harlequin starfish in here somewhere. Usually I see them kind of pop out back here. But yeah, I mean, this tank is really just awful. So I'll probably take the leather out of that one and that will go into the 20 and all the mushrooms from both tank will go into the 20 and that, that'll be it for that tank. And I'll add some recordias here and there, but that that's gonna be it. But that'll be next week. I don't wanna play. This whole tank is going to actually one of our new guys that started at the store. I'm keeping the Radeon. That's gonna go in the big tank. We're gonna do three Radeons on that peninsula. Everything else though is gone. I, I've had it. Well, I'll probably keep the MP10 too, but everything else. But that's gonna do it for this video. Kind of a mix of good, bad, terrible, you know, progress, progression, future plans. I mean, there's, I'm trying to simplify everything. So I think by making these two tanks, you know, one collective big water system, that'll make my life a lot easier having it programmed and you know, on the apex, that'll make it easier. Having two tanks that are on the lower maintenance side, that'll make life easier. I just really want to simplify because I do want to travel some more. I do want to explore and kind of go see, you know, some crazy tanks. If you have a crazy tank and you want me to come out and, you know, do and film it and show it off, comment down below, DM me on Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Let me know that you want me to show off your awesome reef tank. I'd love to come see you guys' tanks. But to do that, I got to make my life simpler and not lose kind of the love of the hobby and having, you know, a nice tank at home because it is a nice like peaceful thing to come home to when it's looking nice but after that who knows so that's gonna do it for this video again comment down below what you think should go on in these tanks what do you think should go on in the fish room there's not much do i get another tank here like do i do like a a seahorse or something i don't know i i just need to simplify i, I guess seahorses are not the best simplified but if you have a suggestion let me know comment like subscribe and i'll see you next time